Okay, so we're going to be putting these on. These are going to go on the top and the bottom. One on the top and one on the bottom. We're going to need two inch screws for each one of these. So it'll be one, two, three, four, five. So just put them in into the front here. And then it's going to catch the hole on the edge. And these are symmetrical, so it can go in either way. The best way to do it is to put one on one end and one on the other end. So it'll hold it in place while we get the cross dowels in. Okay, so to make it nice and neat, loosen it up and bring it up as much as possible. Okay, now put in the rest. And for the bottom one, we're only using one and a half inch screws because there's only one thickness of wood to go through. We'll the same thing as we did before, one on each end, so it stays in place. Okay, so this piece right here um, is called the ZY plate and it's going to have bearings, Z -groove, V groove bearings on the back and V groove bearings on the front. The back ones are going to slide along the Y axis and the ones in the front are going to allow a Z axis mechanism to ride up and down. So we'll start by putting on the, the V groove bearings. We'll use the one and three quarter inch for the upper right V groove bearing. Actually, it goes in this way. And then we'll use the washer and the thin washer. Actually, we need two washers here because we need to actually set it farther away from these rails so these um, screw heads will have clearance. And then a V groove bearing and a nut. This one here will have a bearing on two sides because it serves as the Z-axis V-groove bearing and the Y-axis V-groove bearing. We'll be using a two and a half inch, um, three eighths inch screw, screw. So first we'll need to, um, this one will be carrying two V-groove bearings, one for the front, which is the, the Z-axis um, rails, and one in the back, which is for the, the Y-axis, similar to this. So let's put that one on. And like the other Y-axis rail, we need to put in two of the larger washers to add space. And put that on the same side as the Y-axis. This is the Y-axis, note the orientation. Then put one of these, one thin washer, and a V-groove bearing, and then we'll put a nut. Okay, this one's done. You can just hand tighten it so it still moves. And now we're going to put on the, um, the Y and Z bearings on this side. We'll use a screw of the same length, which is a, a two and a half inch screw. We'll put the bearing on. One thin washer. This is for the Y axis side. So we're going to be using two of these. We'll put it on the Y axis side, which is this side. Then we'll put on one washer, one thin washer, V groove bearing, and one nut. Now, now we have one side of the Z group, Z, um, the Z V groove bearings for the Z axis rail, and we have almost all of them for the Y axis. We need one here, one here for the Y axis, and then these two on the other side would be for the Z axis. So let's put the Y axis in. Okay, we'll put in the last Y axis bearing. So we'll take a one and three quarter inch, 3 8 inch screw, we'll put on a bearing, we'll need two of these washers, and then now we have to do the Z axis bearings on this side, so we'll go ahead and put these in, 
And we're not going to put in a washer here because it would add too much space and it may rub against our rail. So we'll forego those. We will put one on this side. Thin washer. These are the last bearings. And these screws are one, one and three quarter inches long. Okay, now the last thing we need to do on for the bearings are the screws and cross dowels to set the bearings in. We we'll use one and a half inch screws for these. And on this one, we'll need a lo much longer screw, so we'll use a three inch screw on this one. Let's get these in first. Okay. okay, we'll put in this screw. Okay, it looks like because of the V-groove bearings, we're not going to be able to put the v, um, the cross dowel in there, so we're going to have to take this off just temporarily. And get the cross dowel in there. We we'll have to take these off too. It looks like. So now we have all the bearings on, let's put it on the y-axis rail to make sure it fits. Make sure these are not going to be in the way, so we can unscrew these just a little bit. Press this down as much as possible. And because these, this is really tight, it's not going not gonna to be able to go to the rail very easily, so we are going to have to unscrew this just a little bit, so it bends down a little bit, and then we can get the rails in there. Now we can screw these back in, now that the V-grooves are in there. Since we want to tighten it anyway. It still rolls, that's good. The fit is really tight, but it's not too bad. <laughs> 